Hi everyone, this is Mr Neil Writers here, also known as the Wax Whisperer. Thank you for joining me in my latest video. This is of a patient who attended with bilateral fully blocked earwax and upon attending this patient was completely and utterly not able to hear me at all. Um, quite often when people do uh, obviously attend with earwax impaction they, they're still able to hear uh, somewhat uh, but with this particular case they just weren't able to hear anything at all and in part, that was due to the severity of the occlusion, the consistency of this wax. It's very stodgy uh, and sticky, so it's creating an airtight seal against the ear canal wall. And they have got a very, very narrow ear canal. I'm using our standard zone of suction probe here, and it, can, and it only just fits uh, within the ear canal, so uh, there's very limited space for me to manoeuvre the zone of suction probe. So slowly but surely, I'm just bringing this away, I'm just teasing this. You can see they've got quite a lot of hairs just at the entrance. I'm just bringing this down away from the roof of the ear canal. You can just see how sticky and loose this wax is. If I'm over aggressive with the suction probe, it will just detach a small piece of the wax away from the main plug. And I'm gonna try and remove this plug in a one large piece and if you watch till the end you'll see a still image of the wax plugs from both ears and I was able to remove the plugs in their entirety. So I've just instilled some olive oil ear spray, medical grade spray. What this does it just binds the wax together, just makes it a bit easier to remove. It doesn't block, the oil helps to prevent blockages with inside the suction probes as the wax is travelling up the sucker. It's less likely to block and congeal inside because the oil will help to lubricate it. So we're just at the entrance now. So this is uh, the region between the first and second band. We know that as the isthmus. It's the narrowest part of the ear canal. Just going up and down with the plug. I've managed to tease that away. You can see just how dark that was. It's been there for a while. It's oxidised. That's the patient's eardrum, it's nice and healthy. I'm just gonna mop up some of this loose wet wax just near the entrance. It's just a bit of staining caused with the olive oil spray. And that gives you possibly some perspective of how narrow the patient's ear canal entrance is. As you enter the ear, the further into the ear you travel towards the eardrum, the ear canal does get a bit wider, but the entrance is quite narrow. So I'm just navigating those hairs, and that's the eardrum. So that's the patient's left ear complete. Uh, again, similar to the right side, it's a very narrow entrance. I'm just using the endoscope to stretch the ear wide open. And because we're having to use the endoscope to stretch the ear open, that's why the view of the wax is quite close to the endoscope, because the endoscope is not only being used to visualise the wax, but it's also being used as an instrument to stretch and widen and dilate the ear canal so we can insert the, the suction probe and, and also to remove the wax. You can see there's very little room for manoeuvre here with the zone of the suction probe. The wax is quite dry. I believe I'm going to use some olive oil spray again in a moment. We shall see. And the key here is again, I don't want to be too aggressive. I don't want to overwork the sucker because if I do I will just break the wax into little pieces and I'm trying to bring this out in one single piece. Again you can see all the hairs that are matted against this wax. So I'm just going to the roof and I'm just bringing this down and up and away and we're nearly there. There we are. So I managed to remove that in a single piece. So I'm just going to re-enter. So that's the patient's eardrum, nice and healthy. It's just a bit of dry wax. Um, at the base of the ear canal, very deep in the ear, so I'm just going to use a fine end suction probe to see if I can hover, hover over this. There's some skin that's in the way, I'm just going to remove that first. I'm going to give the, the lens a good wipe in a moment because it's just got oily and smeared. And we're just going to hover over, if it comes away great, if not I'm not going to spend too much time, I'm not going to lose any sleep over leaving a bit of wax, there's a couple of hair strands there, matter the wax, again it's not coming away, I don't want to touch the canal wall, I don't want to scrape it, so I'm just going to leave that. Nice healthy eardrum, and these are the plugs, you can see they're very identical, um, like twins, 
Well, I hope you enjoyed that video, guys, and you're all keeping well and safe. Do stay tuned. I've got loads more videos to upload in the uh, coming days and weeks. And, yeah, speak soon. Bye.